was completely baffling on Feb February 18, 2018. He was born just unable to breathe and immediately intubated. We, of course, are at our local hospital and they knew they weren't capable of taking care of Cooper. So we were transferred the next day. He was diagnosed with CHARGE syndrome. Um, and that involves so many things for Cooper. He's legally blind. He is deaf. He has airway abnormalities that result in a trach. And of course, the reason that we know Lucy is because he was missing his thymus. When I first met Allison in person, they had come into the office because they had to do an IVIG transfusion in a provider's office. And I remember garbing up, walking into that room and seeing Allison and Wayne and teeny tiny little baby Cooper. And I had done some research on why he was under our care and what all was going on with him. And I just remember seeing Allison's face and she looked terrified, but also like that new mother loves her son and would do anything for him. And at that point I was like, I'm committed. Whatever this baby needs, I'm, I'm here. I'm ready to do it. I knew that I, I was gonna be with you every step that I, that I could. That day she just, I don't know, she just chose to be by our side, but she literally has been by our side every day since. His immune system is his biggest concern. And so that's just, it's, the workload for you is monumental. You never make me feel that way. How many times have I called you crying and I'm like, I've done it all, I can't do it. And then you just fix it and, you're, and you do it with so much grace and compassion. You make it all better. I love Allison and I love Cooper and I have just been like fortunate enough to have been a part of your all's medical journey and your lives. I love seeing Cooper's accomplishments. Look at him turning, hi Cooper. Honestly, you set the standard. She listens and takes every concern that I have very seriously. The black and white is he wouldn't be alive without her. I mean, honestly, his immune system should have killed him and you didn't let it. I didn't let it, but you didn't let it. Once his immune system is up and running and he's good, I, I plan to go visit for his birthday just to be able to celebrate in person just all of the accomplishments. Because it's not, it's not just Cooper's accomplishments. You and Wayne have kept him alive too. And I'm just honored to have been a part of your all's journey. Thank you. Thank you for playing such a huge role in Cooper's life, in my life. You have it wouldn't have been possible without you. None of this would have been possible without you. He wouldn't have tripled his life expectancy without you.